Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for whenever it resonates. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may or may not be for you. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it resonate. We get people that write something in the comment, they ask questions. If you have a question, you didn't, it, it probably isn't for you. So don't try to make the reading be for you. So what do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? We got two cards that fell out. Oh, three. They really miss you a lot. So somebody misses you. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Virgo. Somebody misses you a lot. Oh, it definitely could be your Virgo. Virgo, Cancer. Somebody really, really, really misses you a lot. Um, could be somebody that you met during Cancer season or Virgo season as well. This person could have Cancer or Virgo in their chart. You know, it could be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. There is definitely somebody here that really misses you a lot. I want to say, I, and I don't typically say sun, moon, or rising for this kind of thing. So sometimes I do. I, you know, for some reason, I, I need to tell you that. So keep that in mind. Somebody really misses you a lot. This person is in their emotions about you. They're feeling it. They're feeling it a lot. But they're trying to keep their emotions stable. So this person is in their feelings about you, but they're trying to keep their emotions, you know, to themselves. They are controlling their emotions, but but they really do miss you. So interesting. What do we have for Sagittarius? Judgment. Judgment is a card of release. It's a card of acceptance. Somebody may even want a reconciliation with you. May or may not be. Judgment is a chance. Oh, we have, and you know, it's interesting because this is a card of karma. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is getting some karma. You know, we have justice on the bottom in reverse, which is karma as well. So there's some sort of karmic consequences here. I feel like there's been an injustice. There's been some unfair treatment with the justice reversed. You may have been treated unfairly by somebody. They may have uh, they may have something to do with court here. Something may not have went in your favor, um, but there's karma. Okay, if there's somebody here that has abused you, they are getting some sort of karma. They may be keeping it to themselves though. Their karma may just be their feelings. Okay, how they feel that they've lost you, you know, karma will affect people in multiple ways. But anyhow, I feel like, um, I mean, judgment is the end of things. It is a card of forgiveness. It is a card of release, acceptance, truth, 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 and consequences. So somebody is getting some consequences. There is a judgment that is being made. Now, this is an awakening, uh, you know, a spiritual awakening. So you may be going through a spiritual awakening right now. You need to forgive and move on. Judgment is a card of forgiveness. I know that somebody has treated you unfairly. They have abused their power. You know, this isn't fair. And, you know, I feel like you, I feel like you forgiving is going to bring you peace. Somebody does want a reconciliation with you, and it doesn't have to be a lover, okay? This could be somebody else that is in your circle. I feel like they have some serious regrets for hurting you, and I don't need that card. I just really feel like they do. 
but they are not planning on taking any action and I feel like they, they're because there's ego and I don't need the ego card you're dealing with somebody that is extremely egotistical may even be a narcissist because I feel like this person is extremely smug very smug know it all Ooh, judgment reversed now karma there's some sort of bad karma here it's time to move on from a bad choice I mean judgment reversed is lack of awareness making a poor judgment call a judgment not going in your favor don't worry about it if it if 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 the justice system has failed you you know if the, the law this law in this universe, I mean the earthly law, if, uh, you know, the, so, the law that we have in society has failed you, don't worry, because judgment day is coming for this person. This person is being judged. They are being judged. They will be judged, and everything is going to turn out as it should, but I feel like, I feel like there is somebody here that has wronged you in a very big way, and they got away with it. They got away with it, and that has fed their ego. It really has. It has fed their ego, but they're not getting away with it. They're not getting away with it. Interesting. Whoever you're dealing with, uh, there's some sort of ill health here. Their health is it may not be as good as they uh, if that, as it appears. Two of Wands, Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, and Knight of Cups. Right now, I feel like you may be angry. You may be angry, you may be upset, you may not be in a good place, you know, you may be frustrated, you may have not have a lot of ambition, you may be even feeling sick, you may be feeling ill. I mean, you just got to be honest here. Um, you may not be feeling like up to anything new because I feel like you've been depleted, you feel depleted, maybe you feel depleted right now. Maybe you need to focus on your health. I feel like you do need to focus on your health. I think that your health needs to be a priority right now. I feel like you need to decide to focus on your healing. You need to focus. And maybe if some of you are single and you're watching this with the Two of Wands and the Four of Cups, you may be dreaming of love, looking for love. You want love. But I'm not sure you're, you're in a place where, you know, you need to, that you need, I think that you need to work on yourself right now. I think you need to work on your health. I need to. Work, I think you need to work on your self confidence. You need to work on your self esteem. You need to work on uh, getting healthy. Whatever this is, I feel like. I mean, I feel like you have been stabbed in the back in the past. We have the Ten of Swords. I feel like you have been betrayed. You have been. You know, it's almost like you, you can't get up. There's weakness here. I feel like it's really difficult to. Uh, do things when you're feeling so empty and lost you know I, and, I, and this obviously I said this reading is not going to be for everybody I feel like something has ended for you that has brought you to your knees you know the ten of swords is the death of a situation and that's in the past though I think that something has ended with a person in the past and you need to leave that pain behind because we have the the ten, somebody has really, 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 really betrayed you. Behind that Ten of Swords is a two of pen, uh, the Two of Wands, which is you need to not look at it. Okay, don't don't keep focusing on that pain. Don't keep focusing on how this person betrayed you, how they treated you unfairly. And I feel like you have been focused on that, and you're angry and you're upset. I feel like you're really angry. This is angry. This is angry, frustrated, upset. 
you know, maybe even vindictive, you know, um, malicious, revenge, wanting revenge, you know, and like I said, this reading is not going to be for everybody. If you're angry and you're unforgiving, the judgment re reversed is unforgiving. You know, this is an unforgiving energy. You need to forgive and focus on your future. I feel like like you're losing support or you're losing opportunities with people because you need to focus on the future and not the betrayal, not the pain. Somebody has really, 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 really hurt you. But, and there's no forgiveness. It's like, no, I will not forgive. I will not forgive. Well, that's, then you're just going to continue to hurt yourself. If you can't forgive, then that's going to, you're going to, you're only causing yourself more pain. The two of wands is, you know, you need to look forward. Do you want to keep, do you want to, you're at this crossroads right now. You need to make a choice. Do you want to keep folk in the behind the two of wands is a 10 of swords. Focus on the future. Let go of the past. The person that hurt you is getting karma, okay? They're not being accepted, okay? They're not being accepted. They're going to be judged for what they did. Judgment day always comes. Karma, well, you know, what goes around comes around. Everything comes full circle, okay? Whoever you're dealing with, let's get some cards on this person. They are experiencing some karma right now. I know that they are. We have karma. We had it three times so far. Let's just talk about this person. Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles reversed, Six of Cups reversed, and Seven of Swords. This person is, is uh, I don't know, if they could be stolen from their job. They may be having problems at work. They're not respected. Three of Pentacles reversed is a lack of respect. They, there's uh, Seven of Swords is deception, slander, deceit. Six of Cups reversed. Nothing stays the same. Being released from obligations. Not working well with other people. Maybe they're even being cheated on. Somebody that you're... Because the Seven of Wards... So, seven of Wards. Seven of Swords is cheating. It's deception. It's lies. Their children may not even respect them. They may have be having problems with their children. And I hate to say that. Six of Cups reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. That's like... Nobody wants to be around this person. Because they don't trust them. This person lies all the time. Six of Cups reversed not getting any respect from their children, not getting any respect from uh, the people they work with. People, it feels like if somebody, people don't like them, the people they work with don't like them or even their children. I mean, I hate to say that. I really do. But the Six of Cups is definitely about children. It's reverse, and they may even be uh, losing friends or losing, obviously this person has no respect. They've lost respect from, from others. This person is very cocky. Like I said, very, very, very cocky. Nobody trusts them. Nobody trusts them. They don't. This person is overly confident with themselves. It's like they're so proud of what they've done. Whoever this person is, whoever you're dealing with is so proud of what they've done. But they don't have respect from others. Nobody respects them. This person thinks that they beat you. They thinks that they, they think that they beat you at at your game. Uh-uh. They didn't beat you because they don't have respect. People don't want to communicate with them. People don't want to work with them. People don't trust them. Whoever you're dealing with is known as a liar or a cheater or a thief. This person that deceived you, that stabbed you in the back, 
doesn't have any friends by the looks of things. No real friends. Anyhow, um, I believe that you, if you're single, I don't know if, I mean, how this resonates with you, but we have the Knight of Cups that you have, that is coming in with the Queen of Cups, maybe a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There is somebody here that uh, is going to be making you a proposal, okay? They're going to be making you an offer. This, this is something that is, it's, it's a very healing energy. It's, it's a loving offer. It comes from the heart. This could even be from a nurse or a counselor or somebody that is very caring, very kind, very generous, very loving, very intuitive, very emotional. This is a caregiver. Somebody that, somebody that is very caring is going to be making you some sort of proposal. This is exciting. This is to, to go in a new direction. I feel like uh, this leads to stability, long-term stability. Ten of Pentacles is right in the middle. You're going to be receiving an offer that brings you long-term stability. And this could be a job offer or it's a, it could even be a love offer with the Page of Cups and the, and the Queen of Cups. But I feel like I feel like this is going to help you to heal. It's a healing energy. It's a healing uh, offer. Somebody is going to be making you a proposal that you need. And this proposal may may um, bring travel. Okay, because we have the three of wands right next to that proposal. The tra the, the, this this proposal could lead you in a new direction. It could cause a move. It may it may make you move. You know, you may end up having to travel or move. Okay, with the three of wands, I do feel like you're going to be making a definite decision. This decision, I feel like it's going to be. I think it's a little bit of a difficult decision because it requires moving or traveling or maybe it's a tra some of it, it could be a traveling nurse or uh travel an opportunity to heal someplace else i don't know how that resonates with you maybe it's moving to a new place you're definitely going to be receiving an offer from somebody that is going to assist you this is going to assist your healing okay um Get prepared for an offer or an invite from somebody. I feel like this is gonna this offer or an invite leads to uh, long term stability. Somebody's gonna be expressing their tender love and care towards you. Somebody really, really, really cares about you and they want to help you. You know, this is some sort of emotional support that is coming in toward for you. There's somebody here that. Uh, I feel like this person knows that you were deceived. They know that you were cheated. They know that you were treated unfairly. They know that you have potential. And you're and they want to give you a chance. They also want you to give them a chance. They feel they also they may see that you're angry. They may see that you're upset. You know, they, maybe they've seen that and they've been watching you and they know that you're not in a good place. Anyway, you're going to be receiving an offer or an opportunity or an invite, an invitation from somebody to go in a new direction. You are, okay? I, and you're going to need to uh, make a choice because the judgment, and you have it twice, even though one of them is a life-changing decision, you're going to have to make a decision. You probably are, you're, you're, you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision. Do you want to let your uh, previous pain, you know, hold you back from an exciting new adventure where you can have financial stability and long-term success and prosperity and abundance? Or do you want, or are you ready to step into new territory? I feel like some of you are definitely traveling, maybe traveling a distance. There also could be somebody that is at a distance that is coming your way. This is somebody that is traveling to you. There's definitely travel here. So some of you are traveling. You're going to be traveling somewhere. 
Um, there's could be like some long distance relations here, you know, with the three of wands. Get prepared. Get prepared for a change. Okay, things are definitely gonna change. They are. I feel like they're gonna change for the better. I do. There's somebody here that is going to be uh, giving you some sort of support. Um, I feel like there's some sort of healing that is going on as well. You're going to be healing from something. You are healing. I feel like it's a very uh, emotional time. You're probably going to be in your feelings. And I feel like you're getting your feelings because when you release something that has just about killed you, that's difficult. It is really difficult. A Ten of Swords is like... That is extremely painful. I feel like you, and that, but that's in the past. I feel like you have been treated unfairly. You know, you've been in an unfair situation. Things have not gone in your favor. But now you've got this exciting opportunity to start fresh. Somebody, and this is a very sudden offer or a sudden change with the Ace of Wands. It's a very sudden move, okay? It's a sudden move. There could be there could be a change of residence with the ten of, or a change in your home. Okay, so you know the ten of pentacles next to the three of wands. We also have two tens here, which is completions, com and then the judgment. That's completions. It's the end of a trial. It's the end of a. It's the end of uh, a situation. Okay, it's the end of things. It's it's finally over. It's final. It's final. A final decision is being made. It's time. It's time. It's for some of you. It's time. It's time. You are definitely going to be receiving an offer or an invite that is very exciting. Okay, it's exciting. It's but it does, and I feel like it's going to uh, remove you from a situation that has been extremely draining to you. It's it's been very draining, very 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 draining. You need to heal. You need to heal. You need to forgive. You need to uh, work on yourself with that Queen of Wands reversed. I also feel like you're going to be caught off guard by this offer that you're receiving. You're probably not looking for it. I do feel like there is somebody that has been watching you from behind the scenes. You know, they've been watching you. They know that, that you've been treated unfairly. And this is the person that is going to step forward and make you this offer. You have to choose... You have to choose, though. The choice is yours. You can choose to stay on your knees. You can stay to stay. You can choose to stay unhealthy. You can choose to have these swords in your back. Or you can choose to pull them out, okay, and, and move on from it and forgive. And forgiveness is here, okay? It's like, I'm not going to ever forgive. You know, then, then you're only causing yourself more suffering. There is somebody here that all this person that really misses you. They, 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 even though they're very cocky, they're, they, 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 uh, they know that you're never going to forgive them. Put it that way. They want forgiveness, but they, they, they know that you're never going to forgive them. There's somebody here, that, uh, if you're single, that ha that does want a relationship with you. This person is very attracted to you, but they may be at a distance. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, next to the Knight of Cups. Some, there's all, we also may have somebody here that has a drinking problem. 
we got the they're all together we got the eight of cups the knight of cups the queen of cups this is like drinking it is drinking it is drinking so not everybody some of you need to, to get a handle on the drinking problem. Anyhow, this is leaving leaving the emotional discontent behind, leaving the pain behind the Eight of Cups. It's going towards wish fulfillment. It's time to go. It's time to go. It is. It's time to go. And there is somebody here that is deciding to come in your direction. I, and this may, I feel like this is somebody that you already know that is offering you some sort of support. There's definitely some addictions here as well that have been uh, holding somebody down. There is addictions. It's, it's time, it's time, it's time. I just wanna say that it's really time. It's time for somebody to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. And the Six of Cups reverse could be rehab. So I'm not sure if we have somebody here that needs rehab. Long-term rehab. Like, long-term. Seven of Swords reverses self-deception. Self so there's a need to wake up. The Judgment card is a wake-up call. Somebody may get a wake-up call. They may get a wake-up call. It could be you. It could be the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is definitely going through a spiritual awakening. And they're ready. I feel like they're ready. They're ready for change. They're ready to release and move on from this bad choice. Somebody is definitely moving in a new direction. It is very positive. You're going to be receiving some emotional support from somebody. There is, there is some, some sort of key player here that is going to help you. This is somebody that is very compassionate, that is going to be uh, helping you. There is somebody here that's going to be helping you this week. Get prepared for an invitation or, you know, a new opportunity to arise that's going to... Uh, I feel like it's going to change your direction. Good luck.